Al Jazeera reports that Venezuela has nationalized a fleet of oil rigs owned by a U.S.-based company, which had been shut down in a dispute over payments. In a statement, the Venezuelan government said that seizing control of the 11 rigs was the only way to get them restarted after a year of idleness. The move comes as Hugo Chavez, Venezuela's socialist president, pushes ahead with a policy of energy nationalization as he seeks to expand the state's role in the economy. He's also taken over assets in telecommunications, power, steel and banking. The fleet of oil rigs belonging to Oklahoma-based energy firm Helmerich and Payne have been idled for months following a dispute over payments by the Venezuelan state oil company PDVSA. Announcing the takeover of the rigs, Rafael Ramirez, the Venezuelan oil minister, said companies that refused to put their rigs into production were part of a plan to weaken Chavez's government. Ramirez told reporters, quote, there's a group of drill owners that has refused to discuss tariffs and services with PDVSA and have preferred to keep this equipment stored for a year. That is the specific case with U.S. multinational Helmerich and Payne. Helmerich and Payne announced in January 2009 that it would begin shutting down its drilling operations because PDVSA owed the company close to $100 million.